order the bases from strongest to weakest. Look at the differences between the compounds. Compound 1 is an amide, and the electrons will resonate onto the oxygen. Compound 2 is a primary amine. Compound 3 is a secondary amine. Compound 4 is an amide ion. And compound 5 is a primary amine adjacent to an electronegative atom. Let's also draw the conjugate acids and the acid-base reaction. The strongest base will be the amide ion. It is less electronegative than oxygen and is a stronger base than the hydroxide ion produced in the acid-base reaction. If the amide was added to water, the equilibrium would shift completely to the products. The weakest base will be the amide, since the nitrogen's electrons resonate onto the carbonyl oxygen, making the very stable and very weakly basic. Now let's compare compounds 2, 3, and 5. For compounds 2 and 3, alkyl groups will stabilize a positive charge and will shift the equilibrium towards the conjugate acid. The more alkyl groups, the greater the effect. This makes the secondary amine a stronger base than the primary amine. Note solvent effects occur only with tertiary amines, so you do not have to worry about this factor when comparing these compounds. Compound 5, the electronegative chlorine, inductively pulls electron density towards itself and decreases electron density on the nitrogen. This will stabilize the lone pair on the nitrogen and destabilize the positively charged conjugate acid, making it the fourth strongest base. 